incident. Tell us about an, an upcoming enrichment weekend. We have Reverend John Scott. John is a lead minister of the Temple of Life for Spiritual Living. Yes. I should say welcome back to Sunrise. Thank you so much. The last time I was here was almost a year ago. Right. And we were talking about Martha Scott's involvement with the Windsor Sands movement, which is, of course, um, what the Temple of Life is all about. Right. And, and about. I remember after that discussion, many persons returned to the feedback. That was new information other than a lot of full back and back. It is that yes. affecting the city in terms of his legacy. Absolutely. So, of the opioids, what exactly? The Temple of Life is a, a church um, that espouses religious science, right. and the teaching is called the Science of Mind. The Science of Mind. Mind, right, M-I-N-D. And we believe very deeply that there is a powerful Buddhist universe that is greater than the all of us, mm-hmm. and that we can use it. Right. And in fact, as I've been said, I discovered it can also use you <laughs> as a great word. So we, we, it's called a new thought uh, movement, but that's a misnomer because it, the teaching is based on some of the ancient philosophies that were all the way back to Aristotle and Plato. Right. And of course, we follow the teachings of Jesus the Christ, yes. but we also honor and respect all other paths to God. So we, you know, we often say it's it's like these many worlds of all over it, all over the globe, right. um, with different names and different languages and different ways of being in different cultures but all fed by one stream, right. that underground river, which is the river of pure mind, mm-hmm. the infinite spirit, the living spirit of mind, is called God. Called God. Now, in, in, in terms of the tapping into these different wells, one of the things which is unique yes. to the Temple of Life is its emphasis on science, Yes, which many people find odd, yes. because you still have some people today who believe that you cannot both believe in, support, mm-hmm. and be guided by science, and be a Christian. Yes. Well, we are a religion because, of course, we teach people about their relationship with their creator and with the indwelling God. Our, our, our um, mission is to awaken humanity to its spiritual magnificence. Right. But we are a science because the technique of prayer that we use is repeatable, it's provable, it is scientific. The, the no, basic yes. tenets of right. research. Yes. Repeatable, yes. provable. Right, exactly. Yeah. Now, Jamaica is a, a praying country. We are a praying people. And yet so many people say to me, Reverend, I, I just can't understand why the wealth, the peace of mind, the spiritual connection, the relationships and the health that I seek are eluding me. Mm-hmm. And we are told why. Um, because in James 4.3, we're told, ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss. And so we really believe that if you are going to be praying to achieve something, you have to pray from a consciousness of already having it. Right. Jesus, the way she was said, uh, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe you receive them, and you shall have them. Mm-hmm. So you can't pray for prosperity, and you're thinking, Lord, but it's not. I don't have my little bit my luck. It's not. It's not going to come to me. Yeah. Uh, you can't pray for happiness, or you want happiness and a wonderful relationship, and you're thinking there are no good men out there. If you're a lady mm-hmm. seeking a life partner, so the master said it's done unto you as you believe. Mm-hmm. So the universe really responds to your belief, your deeply held beliefs about life, about yourself, and about your relationship with God. It's an interesting um, situation that you paint, Reverend, because the, the, the other side of it, people would say, well, if, I, if I'm already living in it, in the belief of it, then why do I need to pray for it? And your thing is that for it to collect properly, Absolutely. as is stated in, in scripture, you can't ask a mist, which is you can't ask the wrong way. That's of right. Things, right. That's right. Now, talk to us about this weekend workshop of enrichment. Well, that's why we, we have the idea to have this enrichment. So it's not meditation. It's a <laughs> Master and author, and in Jamaica, they did say he's a prayer warrior. Mm-hmm. He really, but 